single mothers, women with tattoos, women who dress too revealing, sex workers, in other words, only fan girls, corn stars, strippers, IG models, bottle girls, etc. Girls with IG page. Women with non-ear piercings, okay. Um, women with purple hair or any other unnatural color. Women with whole friends, models. Women who travel regularly. <laughs> Yo, this is a list of apparently women you shouldn't take on a date. So let's continue. Um, women who drink liquor regularly. Women with weak absentee fathers, women who live alone. <laughs> okay, what? Okay, let's move on. Women who, um, women with party voice, women on dating apps, women who have been on Fresh and Fit, women with lists. <laughs> How ironic. Women who have been engaged, divorcees, American and black women, and women raised in the West. Once again, that was a stupid behind list. And it was funny that number 17, women with lists, because whoever wrote this list is a man with a list. So make that make sense. This is dumb. And honestly, I feel sorry for those who are in the dating pool because that water looks so mucky. Mucky is the word? Murky. It looks cloudy and murky. And I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all have to go through this because the world is getting weirder. People are getting weirder. All right, single mothers, for that one, I can understand why. Because me, I would not uh, seriously date a single father if I don't have any kids. Like, I feel like those with kids should really stick with kids because y'all know each other best. Y'all know y'all struggles. It just makes sense. And for those who doesn't have kids, with getting with somebody who has kids you know somebody whether it's a male or female they're not going to truly understand the full scope of having kids or making sure that their attention is split between the kids and the mate so i kind of understand but to each their own women with tattoos like that is dumb i don't see somebody having a, a tattoo whether a male or female means that they're a bad person or that they are not mature enough to be in a relationship. I feel like the person who is actually making this list is not mature enough to be in a relationship. How about that? Women who dress too revealing. Listen, if that's not your cup of tea as a, as a man, then don't go to her. But guess what? Men like that. I don't care what religion you're from, I don't care what ethnicity you're, you are. Men love women body, they do. The attraction is the first thing that they see and they get hooked onto it after they realize your personality. But attraction is what, we are walking peacocks. We are. And men love it. So for a man to be like, oh, don't date somebody who who um, shows their body too much, they still gonna go talk to that person, whether it's in secret, because they're attracted to the person. So this, that's BS right there. Um, sex workers, only fan girls, corn stars, strippers, IG models, bottle girls, etc. Your occupation does not mean that you are bad in relationships or that you should not be going on dates. Now, if you have bad experiences from any of these people, then stay away, okay? But a lot of people have good personality even though their job is something that is looked down upon. That is, so just because you have a page, you might... Anyways, let's go back to... Let's go to the next one because basically this is what I'm trying to say for number four. Women with IG page, like what... 
in this time, 2023, you don't expect anybody, any female to have a social platform. Because if you say somebody with IG page, then you might as well say somebody with a Facebook page, don't take them on a first date. You might as well say somebody with a YouTube channel, don't take them on a first date. Make it make sense. Come on, get, this is why I'm talking about the immature, immature, pretty. But I'm pretty sure the people or the girls that they are trying to attract or they're running after are a specific kind of IG girls or girls with the IG page that are that looks a specific type of way, if that makes any sense. I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. So they just go ahead and say, throw the whole IG page in the trash. Let's continue. Women with non-ear piercings. Same thing as tattoos, like grow up. Women with purple hair or any other unnatural color. If you don't like it red, if you don't like it blonde, if you don't like it uh, yellow, bright sunny yellow, then don't go to her. Women with whole friends. First of all, a uh, woman you should have taken on a date. How do you know she has whole friends if y'all, I don't know if she take on a first date or a date in general, but like, if you don't know her like that, how you already know her friends? Unless y'all in the same area and you just know her from since she was little or when y'all were little. So I understand that, but I'm pretty sure you got whole friends too. A hundred, a thousand, five thousand percent sure that you have whole friends too. So I guess nobody should be dating anybody, huh? Models. <laughs> what is wrong with a model? Okay, this person is sounding like he done been hurt. To be honest, that's what it sounds like. Women who travel regularly, wow. These men want you to stay in the house and not go anywhere, or these men are just jealous that you are traveling more than them, or like, I don't get it, because if you live in your life on your own dime, <laughs> what's the problem? Women who drink liquor regularly. Um, if she has an alcoholic problem, then yes steer away because that that is dangerous and i could say that about men as well if he has a alcohol problem steer away because baby that demon right there is no joke women with weak absentee fathers uh baby <laughs> just because the father is not there that doesn't mean the woman does not know how to conduct herself around men speaking for myself i definitely know how to control myself around men and conduct and actually very picky when it comes to um, being around men. Women who live alone. <laughs> Y'all just calling me out, huh? That's the beauty. There is so much beauty in a female who lives alone. So for a, first of all, if she's not living alone, okay, it's a problem if she lives alone. It's a problem if she lives with her mom because she doesn't have her own. It's a problem if she living with her baby daddy because she doesn't have her own. It's a problem that she living with a friend because she wants to save money or like, I don't understand. I feel as though the ones that do live alone are the ones to take on a date because she's more stable. I feel like those who live on their own are more stable mentally because they are okay with their own company. They're so relaxed with themselves that they could live on their own, unlike somebody or people who have to have other people around them all the time. So I greatly disagree with this one. Women with party voice. I definitely understand what you mean <laughs> with that party voice. That yes voice, I understand. If you don't like it, leave it where it's at because somebody else will. Women on dating apps. <clears throat> Personally, I never um, got into the whole dating app situation when it comes to dating. I know some people use dating apps like to meet up with friends or, you know, to if they move into a new area to um, have more connections in the area, to network and stuff like that. But there are people who find love on dating apps so i feel as though if the real world dating pool is murky 
I can only imagine how filthy the, the digital dating pool is because I can only imagine women who have been on fresh and fit well that could that's a lot of females because that's just a small little channel across this entire world so you got plenty to choose from you got a whole lot of options women with lists like i mentioned before sir you're making a list so uh women who have been engaged there's nothing wrong with being engaged before the four C's, as long as they didn't have any kids before, I can understand, but if they just got married and was divorced and they didn't have kids and they don't have any other ties with the previous um, wife, then why not? American black women. Okay, this person is, I, I don't know, this list is giving me very passport passport bro-ish it's giving me very i just don't like women <laughs> i don't understand because how can you just single out black women or american black women he's hurt he's hurt and the last one woman raised in the west yes yes he's hurt go to another country and get you another female from another region because apparently American women ain't for you. That's what I got to say about that list. Next, or oh, this is a woman writing for men, I guess. Men that don't need to be dating. Men with toddlers <laughs> or younger. Y'all could date, but y'all need to stay within y'all y'all own people. Date people with other toddlers or younger kids. That, that's, that's what I think. Men that live with the mama yeah i agree you don't need to be dating you know why because you need to get yourself together you need to get your finances up it's not a bad thing it just ain't your time men that live with their baby mama the way this is written is so <laughs> it's, it's so ghetto to be honest it's so ghetto i'm looking like me yeah no don't mm -mm. don't no Mm-mm. Because if he's still living with his baby mama, they still messing. Don't. DL men. Yeah, why would you? Don't. Obviously, he doesn't like females. Men that don't have a valid driver's license. I agree, because what you doing? Why don't you have a license? What we doing if you don't got a license? Men that bank with cash app. Where are y'all finding these men? I mean, not that I want to know because I don't know any of these men, but if he's banking with Cash App, then don't you still need a bank account with Cash App? I don't know. I think you still need a bank account with Cash App, don't you? Or is Cash App a bank alone? I don't know, but if he don't have a valid FICO score or a valid bank, um... You need to get your life together financially and go sit your behind down and stop dating. Or don't try to date. Don't try to pull no girls. Because it just don't. Come on, let's be legit in this world, please. Man, that's sad. Yes, that's so unattractive. <laughs> like, I ain't say you you need to sit down and don't date because you sag. But at the same time, that's just not cute. Come on. This is 2023. Put stuff on that fits you. Men that don't take care of their kids, yeah, of course. Because if he's not taking care of his previous kids, then he's not going to take care. He's not going to take care of his current with you or his future kids. Because at the end of the day, all of them are your blood. And if you're not taking care of any of them, I don't care the beef you got with the mother, the mother's family. Your obligation is your obligation regardless. So if you're not taking care of any of them because you're being spiteful, that says a lot about you as a man and you should not be trying to date somebody else because you're going to try to get them pregnant or oops get them pregnant and it's just going to be a generational curse generational cycle we don't need that men that disrespect women of course men that don't own a suit um i disagree because our world is so casual now 
So it's not necessary to own a suit. Everything is not necessary to be formal. And to be honest, if you're like, there's some people who are true entrepreneurs and truly make money and they don't ever have to be in a suit. So, and no. And if you need a suit, you could go always rent a suit. Men that live in motels, uh, <laughs> duh, duh. I don't care if you're in between jobs. If you living in a motel, the first thing in your mind should not be trying to get a female. And females don't be like, oh, he's just in a down phase. No, right. Because he don't need to be talking to anybody. Sit your behind down, go to work, and get out of the motel. Men that want to hold a couple of dollars till they get paid. Thank Lord I have not encountered any men like this and I feel sorry for the females who have because this don't make any sense. Like, going back to the bank, what's your FICO looking like? Why can't you ask the bank before you come and ask me? Don't be dating if you can't. If you continuously asking a female for it to hold a couple of dollars, do not be dating. Men who close are in tubs. Oof, y'all done, y'all done hit the jackpot of the filthy because if a man has their clothes in tubs to me that means that they do not have a home they are homeless that's to me maybe i don't know is a tub in the house or is it not or is the tub in a car because to me it's giving much like homeless and why would you date a homeless on purpose Man that can't log into anything without help. Without help. Like, <laughs> like where, where are you guys getting these men without help? Like, he's not tech savvy without help or like, he's using other people's logins and he don't have his own. Like, I don't, what you mean without help? <laughs> okay, well, if you can't do the simple things as in log into a, uh, account without help you at that point you probably should have already had somebody to help like to be with you to stick with you and know this but actively going out and dating to find somebody new whew, I don't know men that gotta tell they mama everything <laughs> some people are really close to their family and that's all they got so what how can you blame them a man that work for FedEx girl this don't make no damn sense What's wrong with FedEx? I heard FedEx pay good. Listen, y'all better, y'all better stop fantasizing about these scammers and these uh, celebrities and these these athletes. Y'all better stop because it is really warping your minds. And what's wrong with FedEx? If my man is making good money at FedEx. Baby, that's fine because at the end of the day, the mortgage is going to be paid. The car notes is going to be paid. Investments is going to be made. Like what? I'd rather you work at FedEx and know that you have a constant income coming in and making good money than for you to be, let me see, like entrepreneuring out here in these streets and not have a steady income. Come on. Come on. And then if you're really smart, you can make FedEx even work for you and make more money on top of FedEx or on off of FedEx back. But let's, let's not go there. Anyways, men that work for a temp service. I agree, actually, because if you're working for a temp service, that means that like you really try to string along jobs and that should be your focus to land a, a serious job and not trying to like, because temp service, you, I think they, you get work for like 30, 60, 90 days, probably like, it's not that long or six months, it's not that long. So if you are worried about, oh, I need to hop to another job, then you should not be focused on trying to date. So I first didn't agree, but it, I agree, not that I read it out loud. Um, truck drivers, okay, y'all don't because truck drivers be making money 
y'all dumb unless you on the side of okay well uh they could be out cheating they could be out you know doing truck driver things which i understand but then again that's your man's character and not really the occupation so check your man not the job them grand rising men i haven't i haven't heard one of them in so long like a lot of these are either i have never experienced or they just it's a blast in the past because people still okay let's move on then what you're doing man of course that if you cannot hold a conversation with me what are we doing man with multiple kids and baby mamas of course like that's just a trap like you see the trap and you clearly walk into the trap that's gonna be on you as a female so no and also for the man you got too much on your plate you don't need to be getting another female i feel as though try to go back and work you said run run the circle back try to go back and work with one of them work out with one of them females try try change improve because trying to add another one on top of it just don't make any sense to me um man that bash women on social media of course toxic like that's a red flag red flag red flag red flag red flag like don't even men that have to load their card to add money to it men that have to load their card to add money to it like prepaid card cash and put, like i don't so, y'all could clearly say I haven't experienced any of these so I don't get that one but let's move on men that can't keep their locks up like over years <laughs> I understand in between you know getting your hair done and all but like over years saying okay I'm not going to purposely keep my locks up then he's dirty right he can't be dating because he's gonna get another dirty one but you as a female don't do it don't do it it's written all up in his hairline it's written all up in his new growth don't do it men that hairline men that hairline gone okay i'm reading it exactly how it's written y'all and it's really honestly hurting my brain but men that hairline gone but they keep holding on <laughs> that's like a song <laughs> um some people don't want to go bald even though bald is in for some time now <laughs> i kind of agree though like let this shit go let it go <laughs> i i kind of i agree because <laughs> at that point you just look stupid just just grow bald and grow a beard you're good trust me it's way better than walking around looking or oh the oh i'm gonna add one to the list i don't think it's on here i think i have only like five left i don't think it's on here but men this is like a 25.1 or 0 .0, 25.0 men who use the, the the beijing the topic uh hair powder things too much first of all i don't even think men should be using it at all nowadays like at this point we know you don't got hair right there so either you cut it off or you rock it just the way it is but those who overdo it to the point where you clearly can see it's just black and then you see kind of scalp regular scalp in the rest of the head come on those those are the men that can't be trusted i don't trust you i don't trust you i'm sorry i don't it was cute back in the day you know when people really didn't know about it and when they weren't overdoing it but people like overdo it it's like a filter for their hairlines it just we can see it we're we're on to it now so stop just cut it off just stop just stop um men that always talk about what they used to have oh yeah that thing that's annoying that's annoying i'm like okay it's gone move on like stop dwelling in the past and those who are men who dwell in the past for so long so hard they don't have a future so they shouldn't be dating anybody because if you come together with a man the intention is to progress along in the future together so if you're stuck in the past listen stay in the past or stay in your present because ain't no future going on married men yes that is so unattractive that married men talk to other people 
Like, what are you doing? Get with your, I don't care if you want to fall out with your wife. Come on, either work it out or keep it pushing, divorce. But the fact that you're married for years, stringing along the marriage and still trying to date other people makes absolutely no sense to me. Get it together. Men without transportation. Yeah, just the same thing as the driver's license thing. It just doesn't make any sense for uh, you don't have a driver's license and you don't have a car. In the car-centric world we are in now, it doesn't make any sense. Now, granted, if we in another country where transportation, public transportation is popping, where you don't need a car, okay. Like for example, me in Dubai, I don't have a car and that's on purpose because I can use taxi. Me using taxi monthly is going to be less financially than me going to get a car note. So I'm being smart with my finances and not purchasing a car. That's different. But if you in a place like the south of the U.S. and you need a car and public transportation is not reliable, then what are you doing? Get your stuff together, get your money up, save, get your car, and get your license together. Last one, men that are cowboy fans. Uh, I don't get it. I mean, I, I know it's like, it's a football thing, but like. And then the last list. This is list of places women should refuse to go to on a first date. Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, the gym, church, Starbucks, coffee shop, ice cream dates, family functions, uh, movie nights such as Netflix, Hulu, etc. Somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar for just drinks, Waffle House, and sports events. Let me know if you agree with this list. I personally, women should refuse to go to on a first date. Okay, this is all definitely perspective, subjective, of course. When you, when you, Okay, me personally, I think if you as a female already eat at these places on your own, why are you making it seem like it's beneath you for a man to come and offer these, these places for you to eat? That's what I don't get. For example, um... Let's say Chipotle. If you are at work and on your lunch break, you already go to Chipotle to eat. Why do you feel is beneath you for a man to say, okay, let's hit up Chipotle for a lunch date as a first date? That's what I don't get. I understand if you don't eat these things, then yes, for example, I don't eat McDonald's anymore. I haven't had McDonald's in so long. First, Oh, they do have McDonald's here. I haven't had McDonald's in so long. Personally, I honestly rather eat my burgers at the house. I rather make my own burger. I rather grill and put the season in the meat and make my own baked fries, potatoes. Like I be hooking it up for my burgers. Oh, let me know if you guys want a video that I just did another meal prep video. Let me know if y'all want to see how I make my burgers. But if I already eat McDonald's and somebody said let's go to McDonald's I don't see there's a problem with that you already spend your money on it but if I don't eat McDonald's at all and you said let's go to McDonald's no it's a no it's a no so for a lot of these like some people say cheesecake like I don't like cheesecake factory period I had a bad experience at a cheesecake cheesecake factory in Florida and I just honestly a lot of these big chains I don't eat at anymore because it's just so 
many shortcuts that restaurants are doing and the quality of food is not there anymore. I'd rather just make my own meals at the house, make fresh meals at the house. Um, if I want to splurge and that if I just feel like, you know, going out and eat, then there are specific higher end restaurants that I will eat, but that's because I will go and spend my money there and eat on my own. So if a man came to me and be like, okay, let's go here, let's go there. I'd be like, all right, let's bet because I already eat there and I don't mind consuming that type of food, but <clears throat> I'm not gonna go to um, what restaurant I don't eat at. I'm not gonna go to like KFC if I don't spend, I'm not gonna go to KFC on a first date if I don't spend my money at KFC on a regular already. It just doesn't make any sense. So I feel like a lot of these food chains, a lot of people, they do eat there regularly. So it's absurd to me for them not to be, or for them to be on this list. Um, one I can agree with is number seven, which is your house. So the date's house, if it's the first date, is that what it is? Yeah, on the first date. No, we're not gonna go to your house on the first date. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know you. You don't come to my house. Don't come pick me up. I'll meet you. Where are we gonna go? That, um, <clears throat> what else? Church. Church is very intimate, especially if it's a church that you go to regularly, people know you, I agree. On the first day, I'm not gonna take you to church. That is because um, everybody at the church who know me is gonna be like, is this your boo? And if I don't know you yet, it's like, honestly, taking somebody to church on their first day is literally like taking them to a family function because churches are close knit. So church, and family function as well. I don't agree with, I mean, I agree with this list. Um, somewhere that requires a long drive. Uh, there are people who are going on first dates with somebody else who they've known for a while, but they just now getting into that dating thing with them. So if you know the person, like if that's a childhood friend, yes, you can go on a, a long, somewhere that is far away with them if you, because you trust them and you know them like you know their family and all that it's just y'all just stepping y'all foot in the dating seat to see if y'all will work out but if you don't know the person like if y'all met on a dating app what the hell are y'all doing of course not um what i don't agree with is bowling what's wrong with bowling i feel as though bowling a uh, sports event and <clears throat> Um, there was one more. Mm, ice cream date. I feel like those three places, what's wrong with them? Because for the ice cream date, unless you let toast, don't go. <laughs> Cause you're gonna get embarrassed. But I feel as though that's a very chill, I'm the type of person that I like conversations. So over at ice cream day, you could definitely sit and have a nice conversation while you eat your ice cream and getting to know the person. Whereas when you go to dinner, you gotta figure out what you wanna eat, what you're in the mood for to eat. You gotta figure out, you know, you're not spending too much cause you don't know this person like that. You gotta figure out like, okay, do I wanna eat steak? Maybe steak gonna get stuck in my teeth. But ice cream, you don't got to deal with all of that. You just sit, get ice cream, go to a park. And I've done it before. And it's just so relaxing and it's just so cute and it's so chill like there's no pressure on anybody to do anything to um, spend too much because ice cream is fairly cheap and it's just a really cute especially that like don't I don't like sitting inside the uh, place like get ice cream go outside to a park or go sit outside on their patio and just have a conversation and also you get to see what they enjoy eating with the ice cream like oh are they a strawberry person are they a chocolate person are they a vanilla person you know I think ice cream date is really really cute it's actually especially it doesn't matter what age you are, ice cream date is always a safe bet. You go meet up at the ice cream parlor, pick your ice cream. Um, it's not something the guy's gonna figure like, like think about 
it's not something the guy's gonna think about oh this is too much to pay for or nothing like that you know and then you you can't sit and eat, <laughs> eat you know seven ice creams in a in a day or in a sitting so it's just very chill and very calm i i really like that ice cream date so i disagree with this list for that one um also bowling it's the same thing it's like bowling i've done first dates well no not first dates it's just not first dates, but i've done dates where you go bowling and i absolutely love it you get to see the person is competitive you get to see um their skills when it comes to um, like sports because i guess bowling is a sport um you get to see how they tease you because you know especially like when you're on a bowling is very competitive i don't care what nobody says especially for black people like bowling is competitive so you just see that other side of them and it's it's really especially when you go to a nice bowling alley that like i like going to the bowling alleys that have vibes atlanta had a lot of very vibey bowling alleys i don't like going to the bowling alleys with the kids and all of like the family friendly ones no the ones with the vibes you it's a good time it's a good time once again it's not an expensive day you're not gonna spend so much money bowling you play a game or two and y'all can do bets you know play for bets as that like it's real cute so i feel like bowling ice cream are perfect first dates because there's no pressure on anybody and then sports events i say listen take me to a sporting event on a first date because i feel as though sporting events it's both party wins on a men's side they want to watch their team they want to see who won you know you know men in sports they really into it on the female side uh sporting events are very good content uh time so you go and you take a picture you look cute in your sporting outfit the vibe the atmosphere i love the atmosphere of sporting events so i think that's a really cute first day and also for a female you get to see how the man react when their team lose you know is he punching the wall is he cussing is he you know you really get to see like okay because one thing about men is the fact that they don't care where they are they don't care who's around them if their team is winning or losing their true at reaction or their true attitude comes out so if their team if his team is losing he's definitely going to show his losing side is he a, a poor sports like is he the type that's gonna go get your snacks for you and leave you in the seat get up while the game is <laughs> while the game is going to go get the snack for you like i feel like that's a really cute way to get to know your date outside the norm you know when you go to the movies when you go to restaurants um i don't know why y'all go to the gym on a first date uh i don't know why he'll go to a family function but uh when you go to like these i don't know why y'all would go to a nightclub like on a first date um why would y'all even go to waffle house okay this person has to is waffle house only in the south because they have to be southern in order for them to put waffle house on here because <laughs> that's very specific um yeah to go to any of these other places it's just all you're gonna do is eat a lot of people don't even have full-on conversations when they eat because they worry about the meal that were about probably what's on their face while they eating i don't know people are different but bowling sports events ice cream dates i completely disagree with but to each their own to each their own this is this is something else these these lists all three lists are something else but my overall commentary or my overall thought about this entire list situation i'm gonna need y'all to go out and touch grass okay a lot of things that we see on social media is is very flawed i feel sorry for those who have kids that are growing up in this society because listen if the pool of dating is this murky now in 2023 with the social media everything that is going on 
imagine it's going to be mud by the time your kids become adults and trying to find a partner. Keep that in mind. It's, it's real murky now. The pool is real murky now. It's very cloudy. It's very pissy. Imagine when your kids grow up, how thick, filthy it's going to be. Because one thing I'll be afraid of is the options my daughter or my son have out there to be in a relationship. The options that are out there is, is, is crazy already now. So I can only imagine in a good, let me see, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, how those options are just going to, whew, baby. Anywho, good luck out there in these streets.